Guys, welcome back. As many of you may know, I recently received an internship at the Harvard School of Medicine to be able to study lung cancer. And so now I'm out here in Boston now, I just barely moved out, and I wanted to make a video to be able to help you guys know how you can do the same thing. Now, an Ivy League internship can be something that can help you no matter what you're doing. I'm doing pre-med, right? But if you're doing pre-law, if you're doing any career really, having an internship at a prestigious university will look really good for any job that you apply to or any future internship that you apply to. It will open the doors for you and allow people to take you seriously in what you're doing. When it comes down to it, you really don't have to have any sort of crazy qualification to get an internship at a prestigious university. Most people tend to think that only the super extremely smart and the super talented and the super achieved are the ones that get these internships. But in reality, all these people do have something in common, but that's not always what it is. So there are three different things that you need to do if you wanna be able to get one of these internships, okay? I'm gonna go over all of them. The first thing you need to know, you need to be relentlessly persistent. There are many paths to achievement, but laziness is not one of them. So get off your booty. <laughs> if you give up after the first internship you apply to, or after the first barrier that you go to, you're not going to be able to continue. And if you have these big goals, you're not going to be able to achieve them. What most people that get these internships have in common is that they may have applied to 20 or 30 internships. They may have applied multiple years. I actually applied for this internship the previous year and was denied. So not giving up adds more tickets into the raffle of if you are chosen to be able to be somebody who gets one of these internships. So it's really important to not only not give up, but to apply to a wide range you know, of internships, 20, 30, 40. And that just statistically is increasing your odds. So that's the first thing that you need to know that you need to do. The second thing you need to know, find creative ways to get where you need to be. There are lots of ways and paths to end up at an internship. And one of them is being one of those high achieving students that everyone gawks at because they have learned six languages and also you know, cured some form of cancer. And that, that's great. That's one path. It's a really difficult path to follow. Most people follow alternate paths. For example, in the internship I'm in, it is mutually beneficial from the university I go to and to Harvard Medical School to set up the arrangement. The reason I was able to get it is not maybe because I had one of those, you know, achievements in my past, but because uh, the university I go to, I went to them and I asked them for funding and then they provided the funding so that Harvard University could supply or could hire an intern free of charge. So it's mutually beneficial because my university wants people to be placed in prestigious positions and Harvard University wants cheap labor because in Boston, everything is expensive. And if you were to pay your inter interns, you would pay them a lot more than you would in any other state. So let's say you apply to an internship and you don't get it. One path that you could go to is trying to set up funding through your college and reaching out to different internship organizations and say, hey, I'm funded by my college of life sciences or my business school. And it would, you know, I'm willing to come out and work for you for free if I get this. This is an amazing opportunity for everybody involved and is an excellent way to go if you want to get one of these internships. The last thing you need to know is you need to get rid of the imposter syndrome. At every level of achievement, no matter if it's going to some prestigious school, if it's getting some award, if it's associating with a certain group of people, the commonality that everyone has is everyone experiences imposter syndrome where they say, I just got lucky. I'm not supposed to be here or I could never achieve this because I'm not one of these amazing people. You got to get out of your own head. Remember in when you think of that, that every single person who has achieved once felt and thought those same thoughts and feelings that you're having. It is totally normal to feel the imposter syndrome. Guys, I get it. You're scared. 
Stop being scared, okay? You are the man. You can't live with that. You have to be able to learn how to deal with it and how to overcome it. You get one thing, you get your in, and people start looking at you different. And then you start to actually believe these things about yourself that you never would have thought before. You start to believe that you can achieve things and you can do things. And it's really an amazing experience of growth. So trust me, just go for it. If you aren't able to do this, your disappointment will overshadow your drive and you will end up not following point number one and not being relentlessly persistent and not getting the opportunities you want. Achieved people are just normal people that didn't give up. And I want you to remember that, especially as you're applying for these internships. I want you to know that you can do it. We went over in this video how to get an internship at a university like Harvard. And the things I wanted you to remember were, one, be relentlessly persistent, two, find creative ways to get there, and three, get rid of the imposter syndrome. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that um, you guys have a lot going on in your plates, but incorporate time to be able to apply to these internships and you will be successful. I wish you guys all good luck and have fun internship hunting. Until next time. What are you sitting around for? Get off that booty and get to work. Let's go. I'll see you next time.